Chad, what's going on, sir? Hey, bud. So you've got a lot of good looking coaches in your showroom here, a lot of Prevos. What do you think is the best value here? Ah, uh, there is a lot of nice stuff in here. I have something I have to show you. This right here is hot, hot on the market, riveted XLV, independent front suspension, um, completely redone top to bottom, uh, professionally done at that. Complete interior remodel. But you got a lot of XL2s in here, only one riveted coach. Are the riveted coaches flying off the shelves or what's going on? I can't keep them in. I mean, before they even hit the market, it's gone. It's just before they can even get launched, there's two people in line waiting for them. This thing has not hit the market yet. It's getting ready for the market. Um, there's a story behind it. I think a lot of people are familiar with that. and. Uh, it's a it's an awesome story because it's a story of a coach being professionally gone through and getting ready for the road and that's what we like to put out there something that we can send out with confidence that you know that they're going to have a good experience and uh that's what this thing's all about inside and out pretty um, pretty excited about it absolutely how much dough do you need for it we have it at 140 just a, a quick no haggle move it down the road price yeah, lot, with all that work done, how much work? How much do you think it would cost you retail if you were to go take it to shops and try to get all the work done that's been done to this coach? When you get into the suspension, the air conditioning, the bus air, the interior remodels, all that, I mean... You, Inverters, it, batteries, batteries, tires. You, you, could, you could knock on the door of 60, 80 plus pretty quick. Pretty yeah. quick, yeah, absolutely. So, so 140 is a good value? 140 is a smoking deal, and uh, it, it's just gonna make somebody an awesome coach and uh, excited for whoever gets it to get out there and start traveling. What is going on? We found the famous Kyle from Border Coach. What are you doing over here at Premium Coach Group? What's going on, Andrew? Just uh, getting ready to watch some Judge Judy on the uh, front television here and the nice air conditioning in this Hoffman. Most of the time when we see Kyle, we're down at Border Coach Leasing. Today we're hanging out over here at Premium Coach Group, and a lot of you have seen this Hoffman coach. Kyle, what's the story? Well, uh, the Hoffman is for sale, and here she is over here at Premium Coach. So this coach has a lot of history with it. You went and bought the coach in Pennsylvania. What's what's the whole story on this coach? Yeah, the whole story was um, the gentleman that owned the coach reached out to me on Facebook. And at first I wasn't quite sure how to respond. And he said, hey, I want you to buy my coach that I've had since he's the second owner on it. So basically I'm the third owner of this coach. And he's, he wanted me to basically have the coach. It was an older gentleman named Howard and he, watched a lot of your videos, Andrew, and wanted to see what kind of conversion could be done on this coach. And so I, I made a deal over the phone, basically. Flew out to Pennsylvania, got there. There was a small problem though. The coach wouldn't run. So I had to bring a bunch of tools to get it running and then kind of limped it back to Arizona over to the shop. Kyle did do a whole video where I actually edited the footage. Kyle vlogged that whole uh, journey to Pennsylvania and driving the coach back. I'll make sure to leave a link to that video in the description below. You got it back and then you didn't waste any time. Full blown remodel, what happened? Yeah, we had to do the Hoffman package on it, right? That's where it came from. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the floors were all nasty in here. The couches were all original pretty much. And we had to do a full remodel on this because we had a trip planned. So the wife uh, told me to hurry up and get it done. I know you did a lot to the remodel and we'll walk the folks around this coach in a moment. I mean, just a stunning coach. Um, but you did a lot to the chassis as well. What all did you have to do to the bus side of it to get it in the condition where it was ready for you to use? Yeah, so basically we did a whole new front end, the upper A arms, lower A arms, all the tie rods, uh, put some new front tires on it, new radiator. It was pretty rotted out in there just from being original. So that's all brand new. We ended up putting a brand new AC compressor on the coach, a brand new condenser core on the coach and we updated the condenser with brushless motors uh brushless fan motors like the early you know the 20 2021 prevos have now if someone were to bring a bus like this to your shop how much dough are they looking at to get all of that work done well just the chassis i'm guessing probably 30 40 maybe even fifty thousand dollars with what we ended up doing to everything on this coach 
And then the remodel. Um, the remodel could be another 20, 30, 40, depending on you know what needed to be done. We ended up doing the shower in this one and all the floor. We redid all the, the couches, the front, front seats, uh, driver's seat, passenger seat, added a little fridge over here that kind of fit perfect in there. Yeah. There used to be some electronics. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Sonos systems in buses uh, because a lot of people have been having problems with like the Crestron uh, audio systems and video that you have to, you know, fly somebody in to, or log in remotely to get all that working. So we've been going through and doing Sonos and now Samsung has Samsung TV that'll actually uh, log on to the internet and you get like 150 free channels. So we ended up updating all that up in the front and in the back. Um, I put a new dishwasher in, nice stainless steel dishwasher. We did all the backsplashes in here, uh, new LED lighting. Did you do Sonos sound in this? Yes, I did Sonos. do Sonos sound. Sonos, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty rocking in here, actually. And this is a, a, a non-slide XL riveted coach. How many miles are on this coach? Uh, I think there's about 211,000. Okay, nice. So. Just getting broken in. Oh, yeah. It feels really roomy in here, you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of coaches will have some cabinets and stuff, but this actually feels nice and nice and wide open here plus there's still a lot of storage space in the galley area yeah and, and um they did a great job on the upholstery here this is one of those wider passenger seats uh if you want to have your pet travel with you and i really like the color of the leather that you chose for the captain's chairs uh so all brand new upholstery on the captain's chairs um and then you have this new uh uh, flooring throughout a really high-end flooring uh, what's the flooring that you chose and it's actually tile so uh, I believe it's a porcelain tile and we went with the matte finish in here because of my pets my dogs that we had in here so they don't slide around so much I've done a lot of like high gloss which looks really nice and rich but for for my my style and with my pets I, I wanted to go with the mat and it actually worked perfect Detroit diesel series 60 how does this coach drive oh it drives like a champ yeah I, I really enjoy driving this coach like I said in you know previous videos I, I don't really even want to sell this coach but since now that I got the cheapest Prevo uh, on the market cheapest double slide on the market now that's a new project for me so that's literally the only reason why I'm selling this but uh yeah it's a great coach i spent many weekends in it with the wife and and doggies and uh yeah i had a great time oh um, these get brighter you want these brighter yeah oh yeah yeah let's yeah he just has them. oh yeah let's turn on all the light all the way really cool floor plan too i like the opposing sofas now do these sofas turn down into beds at all or yeah uh so this one completely pulls out nice nice and large and th this very one, large this one pulls out too so i guess maybe if you have a, a small kid or something they can use this side but i mean this is nice and big yeah and then you guys redid these valances too yeah i like that uh stainless steel on there yes, and sir. the new lights and everything yeah it looks really good uh all these are nice and carpeted oh they got plant or something decor pieces in there yeah and uh, i like these chairs that you used for your uh kitchen table yeah. there where'd you are those just bought just bought online yeah nice look at this i like this oh a little uh <laughs> ironing board yeah. there could probably uh could probably use a new it's been a new, used a, it could use a new topper on yeah it. but that's a cool little convenient spot to iron your clothes yep. Uh, all original cabinets yeah original cabinets you know nice. uh, this is new the dishwasher here nice profile ge profile yeah and then you use the same flooring throughout the entire yeah, coach all the way down nice. we even did the flooring up the you know sides there oh so what all did you do in the bathroom here oh the shower we did a seamless through all the way through no curb which i think a lot of people have seen before yeah nice little radius it's got the like Mold. rainforest shower head yeah, body jets nice and i like this texture that you used on the side here yeah, like a 3d 3d tile of some sort nice open floor plan uh where your head is in the same room as your bathroom so it's all kind of open uh what's going on over here washer dryer combo here nice. this thing works awesome just a bunch of cabinets which we lined them all yeah more cabinets nice more cabinets. this is 
huge cabinet space in here. And you put all, this is all new carpeting that you used? Uh, this is a, was original, all the black carpeting you used. Oh, okay, all, nice. All new. It's in good condition though. A lot of wardrobe space, yeah, all drawer the drawers, space. Tons of drawers, drawers down there, drawers there. And then in the back here, well, here's here's the, uh, another sink here, all cabinet space, right? Yeah. And then back here is another huge wardrobe. Oh yeah. Which is nice. A lot to have. of storage. A lot of there. storage, yeah. And my favorite is the little fan. I love the little fans and buses. <laughs> small tv back here is this a new tv here in it your is, bedroom and it's all uh it's all hooked up to the wi-fi and you can stream internet and all that stuff so nice yeah all set up uh, all little switches store. outlets you know is that storage below the bed as well yeah yeah nice big large box. drawers yeah large drawer yep yeah this one's actually cool it's got the little slide in it yeah huge uh front bay very wide bay with the slide out trays yeah slide out on both sides nice manual not electric less stuff that can break yeah there's the inverter okay new magnum inverter 4000 uh yes uh you got some uh the original lawn chairs that came with the coach yeah. back there as well uh, this coach has bus air, yep, over the road air. and cruise air. Yep. Plumbing bay. Let's, let's open it up. Yep. It's gonna house all of your different uh, holding tanks. Get a low shot. Oh yeah. So this is inside, this is the, the intake for the bus air? Is, yeah, the condenser. Brand nice. new condenser core and then the uh, fans. Nice. So this is all upgraded like you would see in a 21? That's correct, yeah. Awesome. And I love the exterior colors of this coach, white, green, and red. It really pops. It's in the showroom right now where it's not too light in here, but when you get this out in the sunlight, it really pops. Yeah, it was garage kept its entire life. Wow, until, until you got it. Until I got it, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> but it's back in the garage right now, fortunately. Uh, how, uh, coach batteries? Yeah, I put new coach batteries and then there's the new compressor. Nice. Compressor. New coach batteries. Engine's dirty. That's all right, we'll still show it, yeah. S Series 60. Boom. What's the story on the Series 60? Series 60, best engine, I think. Not EGR, this is the way to go. Here's the brand new radiator. Nice. What would that cost you just for the radiator? Oh, radiator job on a bus nowadays is five to six thousand dollars. Nice. Depending on which coach it is, but I mean the price of everything is just skyrocketed. Yeah. Right now. Lot of bang for your buck on this coach. You, know? you had mentioned you were planning on doing lithium batteries. Did you ever do lithium batteries to this coach? Yeah, I have two lithium batteries that I put in this coach. Uh, it's got room for probably about 10 more in there if you wanted to up the capacity. I, I was just always running on generator or on shore power, so I, I didn't really need more than two to be quite honest. You did new inverters as well? or Magnum 24 volt MS, MS uh, 4024s I got in there, uh-huh. Uh, I think we talked about uh, the chassis work you did. Yeah, the chassis work and then we did uh, condenser, brand new condenser core for the bus air. Oh, this coach has over the road air, which is awesome. Uh, we put a brand new AC compressor in it. We put uh, ele electronic or uh, brushless motors on the condenser motors, uh, which is basically like a brand new Prevo. Um, what else do we do? The radiator. That's Overall, I mean, you think when you think about all the inverter work you did, the lithium batteries, the suspension work to the front end of the coach, mm -hmm. uh, the whole remodel. If someone were to bring you this bus and say, "Hey, I need all of this work done," about how much money would you charge them? Oh boy, I would. I'm saying probably fifty to a hundred thousand with chassis and interior. Uh, say say not not a range like this is a hard number what's a hard no, what's a hard number all the work that you did in here what do you think what would you 75 grand i don't know what what, what would you charge someone to do a remodel think back on all that work
new faucets. Like, you know, there's everything. Yeah. 75 grand. You think 75 I mean, grand? Yeah, I think probably 75 grand with chassis and all the all the brand new interior. And inverter, I think batteries. Inverter, lithium batteries. We put new uh, chassis batteries in the coach. Um, I, I'd have to look the records, but I'm pretty sure we did some new airbags underneath um, on the entire coach, actually. I think we did do. New airbags? Yep. So yeah, you think 75 is safe or are you gonna shoot yourself in the no, foot? No, I, th I, I think 75 is safe. I yeah, okay. 75. 75 grand in work. Now here's the other thing is, is how long would it take to get all of that work done? It's waiting think, on parts and everything. Yeah. What do you think it would, would be a realistic amount of time? I, I think a project this size, interior and exterior, would probably take at least three to four months to be safe on a completion. So when you think about the time that it would take to get all of this work done, 75 grand in work, plus buying the bus and having the bus to start with, this coach is a bargain. Do you know how much money they're asking here at Premium Coach Group? Yeah, we're asking 140,000 for the coach. Uh, if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? They should get a hold of Chad over at Premium Coach Group in Gilbert, Arizona. I highly doubt this coach will last very long. I even thought about this one for myself. I don't think you can beat the value for a fully remodeled coach. Um, now, if someone does buy this coach, can you maintain it? Can you service oh, yeah. it? You'll give them a VIP treatment over at Border Coach Leasing? Absolutely. Any coach that anyone ever buys from me always gets the VIP because my heart and soul have, has gone into the coach, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good. Well, Kyle, can't thank you enough for coming down here to Premium Coach Group and showing us your coach that's for sale here. If you're a serious buyer, you can get on premiumcoachgroup.com. I greatly appreciate all of you out there liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks for checking out our videos.